What's up guys, I want to show you how to make a copy of the iOS image. Um, you can use Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP, or Mac OS X, any version of that, and uh, co and copy it onto your computer. Um, all you need is a Power iOS application. You can go to www.powerios.com. It costs $29.95, but there's a free trial for about 30 days. Then you have to buy it. So go ahead and download that. Once you've done downloading that, I already have my disk image inside my computer. I'm gonna click my computer, and you can see DVD WR drive Windows 7 Home Premiere, 576 gigabytes. Right click on that and go to Power iOS ISO Make Image File. This will load up the application. You can exit out of that. Give it a second. Now you can see source drive DVD. Here's the same thing. Windows 7 Home Premiere. Click iOS file. Go ahead and click where you want to back it up. I recommend onto a external hard drive. I have a one terabyte hard drive. You can see we're right here, computer, um, Timmy. And I'm just gonna put it in to iPhone firmware. And go ahead and click save. Go ahead and click OK. And now it will estimate your time. Usually it takes about 30 minutes for about 5 gigs. Um, 42, actually 42 minutes. It all depends how fast your computer is. And I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, so we got about 5 or 4, actually 4 more minutes left. It actually didn't take that long. Not as long as it said it did. Um, I went off and did a couple of things and I came back and it's already at 76%. Not much longer, and go once again go check out the uh, PowerISO.com link down below. Free trial, why not try it just to back up your iOS? For, uh, and also supports Windows 7 like I am on. So go ahead and check it out, and I'll be back in about four minutes. All right, so you see we got about five seconds here, and it's done. So once it's done, you can just go ahead and exit out of the application, and we're gonna go to my hard drive right here. And we're going to go to iPhone firmware, so you can see right here, Windows 7 Home Premiere. Um, we're going to go ahead and right click, click Properties. And you can see here about 5.74 gigs. Uh, that's the actual size of the hard drive, uh, actually the uh, iOS image. And so all you, have, all you have to do is just go ahead and pop in a blank CD and uh, go ahead and burn that using Power I. I ISO, which I'll have a video on later on on how to copy iOS ISO images onto a CD and boot off of that. So hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and check out Timmy Month at TK and also yapplace.com and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Timmy Month, and I'll see you guys in the next video.